Ten, 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 the computer man. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dan Computer Man, episode 41. Today in episode 41, I'm going to be doing my video review of the Office 2010 Professional Plus technical preview, and I'm also going to be showing you how to download it. So, I'm just going to show you how to download it first. What you'll need to do is open up your internet browser, and then you'll want to go to this, go to the following website, technet.microsoft.com dot com forward slash en hyphen us forward slash eval center forward slash ee three nine zero eight one eight dot aspx but I'm also going to be putting that link in the video description so if you didn't get all that don't worry I'll be putting that link there so once you get to this site and it's all loaded you'll present you'll be pre presented with something that says Download Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2010 Beta. And then I have to read all this stuff and make sure you have all the system requirements and stuff. Just go down to the bottom and click Get Started Now. Sorry, sometimes it, it just takes a little while to load here. Yep, there we go. And as you can see here, you're going to need to type in your Windows Live ID and password but if you don't have but if you don't have one no need to worry you can just create one and then once you enter your Windows Live ID and password then you'll be prompted to sign up for a TechNet account if you haven't already because you need that in order to get your product key for the project you're downloading and to download the actual project itself so that shouldn't take long at all it just prompts for your first and last name and other details and then you just go, can go to the download and just to let you know right now this down the download only works in Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox so you cannot download using Safari Opera and all those other other browsers I don't know why it's just the way the download plugin works Okay, so now I'm going to be doing my review of Office Professional Plus 2010, the technical preview. So what this version comes with is Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Publisher, OneNote, Outlook, and I'm trying to think of what else. Hold on. So let's go start all programs, Microsoft Office. Yep, so it comes with Word, Excel. PowerPoint, OneNote, Publisher, and SharePoint Workspace. I forgot about that. And also Outlook, which I don't have installed because I decided to change my mail client to Thunderbird right after trying Outlook because I was annoyed by how slow Outlook was going. So first, I'm going to show you some of the new features in Word 2010. So as you can see, you're presented with that nice splash screen. I don't know if that's going to be official once they launch the product, but what they said to see. So as you can see, it still has the same ribbon-like interface as in Office 2007, but there are a few enhancements. In all the Office programs, when you click on the Office button, instead of having a little drop-down menu, it now has all this stuff over here. For example, when you click on Info, you have Permissions, Prepare for Distribution, and all this stuff, all of information on the document. Under Recent, you have Recent Documents that you've edited. Under New, you can create a new blank document and all the other good stuff. And this is the thing I love most about Word 2010 and all the new programs in the Office Suite. If you click on, as you notice, one click on Print, it doesn't have settings in a separate window anymore. It has them all in, in one window now, and you can select your printer and just apply all the settings right in here. And it even has a print preview right over here, which is nice. And then under Share, you have options to send it using email, internet fax, all that good stuff. 
And then over here, there's options to check for updates for your current version of Office and to set options and stuff. So yeah, that's Word 2010. Now I'll show you Excel 2010. Now this one, as you can see, most of the stuff is the same. And there's all the, the nice thing is that now they have all these formulas here. So then if you, like let's say you forget one a certain formula for something you're typing in. Well, here we are, all right here. I think that's nice. I really haven't got a chance to really use Excel 2010 because I haven't had anything in school that requires it yet. And as it said in all of Office products in the suite, they all have the same thing over here. So that's pretty nice. Next up we have PowerPoint 2010. This one I think has improved the most out of all the products in the Office Suite. So I'll just type in some stuff here and show you some of the new transitions and animations it has. So now I'll go to transitions. And as you can see there's split cut, which I don't know what like that one did. It went really fast. Fade, wipe, shape, dissolve, which I think looks really cool. Clock, push, pan, fly through, cover, uncover, checkerboard, blinds, random bars, Gallery, Flip, and Ripple. And the cool thing is that it actually applies some effects to the text right here. Before the transitions in previous versions of PowerPoint, just did tra a transition into the slide without doing anything to the text. So I think that's pretty awesome. And on our animations, you have most of the same ones that you do as Office 2007 and previous. So it's like that. Appear, nothing really. Fade, that's been in every version of PowerPoint basically. Fly in, float in, split, wipe, shape, wheel, random bars, grow and turn, zoom, Swivel, Bounce, Credits, oh there we go, sorry about that, and there's just tons and tons of custom animation effects, so many that I can't fit them all into a 10 minute video. So in general, I think that PowerPoint, to th that this version of PowerPoint as part of the Office 2010 suite is the best version of PowerPoint Microsoft has ever made. Seriously, I, I am serious about that. Because I seriously think that the transitions and custom animations and stuff, yes, most of them are the same from previous versions of Office, I mean PowerPoint, excuse me, but they've improved, as you notice with the dissolve checkerboard and blinds and stuff. So now the last one I'm going to show you, because that's the only other one I know stuff about, is Publisher 2010. Now with this one, it gives you choices of what kind of template you want to use, just like previous versions of Publisher. But I think they might have added in a couple new ones. I'm not so sure if Import Word Documents was there before, but it might have been there. But there's nothing much I have to say about this one because I've never really used Publisher. So yeah, if, if I get around to using Publisher more, I'll put something in the video description about how Publisher 2010 is. 
So overall, so far I'd had to give the Microsoft Office 2010 Professional Plus Technical Preview a 10 out of 10 because even though the interface itself is basically the same as Office 2007, but except with a few tweaks here and there, I just think it's, it's awesome. Microsoft has just added in some cool and helpful new features into the Office suite. And I can't wait till Office 2010 becomes official. Thanks for watching this episode of Dan the Computer Man, and I hope you have a great day or night.